Okay, this is bismuth. <laughs> this is bismuth metal, and it kind of has a low melting point. But the real reason I want to show you this stuff is uh, it makes some pretty cool, cool crystals. And I'll show you the technique for making crystals once we get this molten. can see it doesn't take much to get it melted. This is how it comes in these little uh, 10 gram uh, biscuits. And I'm using uh, math gas, but you could use propane. And what I'm going to do is pour it in this cooler ladle. And just let it sit a minute as it sets up, which it does pretty quickly. And then I'm going to pour it back into the other ladle. And when I feel it's uh, set up and made some cool crystals to look at. And again, bismuth metal. Let's pour it back into the other ladle and see what it's left us to look at. And it's kind of, as the temperature's cooling, it went from like a silvery to a gold and it's almost like a purple now and now it's like almost a blue, an electric blue oh we got some nice crystals and as I pour it into the other label, it's actually turned into like a yellow. But let's take a look at the crystals that are left in the Kool-Aid ladle that we poured into. That's some pretty cool stuff. Intricate designs. And it's the crystals as the metal setting up. And they've actually turned the center crystals are like a pale gold. And as it goes out, it's like a purple into a brown and a blue and a violet and then back into the gold. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff on the bismuth. And over here on this side, you can see gold, violet, purple, blue into the silver nice crystals let's see what came in this one and this one formed some big golden crystals But there. I'm 
golden and purple. And there's the back of the ladle. And again, this one had some pretty cool big chunky crystals in the bottom. Which would be, if we didn't pour out the molten, like when it was halfway dry, you would never see those crystals because they'd be under the puddle. So, pretty cool stuff. And I'm just going to break this up now so it fits back into the bottle. And we're done with the bismuth, with the making the crystals out of the bismuth. So thanks for watching our little melt in the bismuth video. Rate it, you know, comment. That's what the comment box is for. And sub to the handyman zone. We got all kinds of cool stuff coming. And you definitely want to be a subscriber so you don't miss any of it. Thanks for watching YouTube. We'll talk to you soon.